Hi everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area between a curve and a line using definite integration. So in this example, we've been asked to find the area of this blue shaded region. We've been told that the curve is y equals x minus x squared, and that the straight line is y equals x over 2. So the first thing we need to do is we need to think about how we can combine the curve and the line to find this area. So if we find the area under the curve between the origin and this point, and then subtract from that the area under this line in red, then we'll get the area of this blue region. So I'll break this down into its individual areas. So we've got the area under the curve minus the area under the line will give us this blue shaded region. And we can work out each of these areas using integration. But the problem is we don't know this limit here. But we do know that to find this limit, the equation of a curve will equal the equation of a line. Now we can solve this equation to find x. We'll multiply both sides by the 2, and then we'll move this negative 2x squared to the right hand side with this 2x. So we get 2x squared minus x will equal 0, and we can factorize this. We know the solution of 0 comes from this x, and this is at the origin. So this limit will be when 2x minus 1 equals 0. And this will be when x is positive 1 half. So I'll mark this limit on our diagram. So now we've got the limits, we can find the area of each of these two shapes. The purple region will be between 0 and a half. And then we'll subtract from that the integral between the same limits of this red region, which is x over 2. So there's a couple of ways we could do this. We could just find the area of this triangle. But what I'm going to do is integrate all of this at once, because we have the same limits. So we've got x minus x squared minus x over 2, all integrated with respect to x. Then we can simplify this by collecting this x with a negative half x. So we get the integral of x over 2 minus x squared dx. Then all we need to do is evaluate this integral. We'll get the x squared over 4. When we integrate negative x squared, we'll get a third of x cubed. And our limits are now 1 half and 0. So now we need to substitute in each of these limits. We'll substitute in the half. This will be a half squared divided by 4, so 1 over 16. And then a half cubed divided by 3, so 1 over 24. When we substitute in the lower limit, 0, we get 0. So this will give us an area of 1 over 48 units squared. Okay? Let's try one more question. Okay, so in this question, we're told that the diagram shows a curve and a line which intersect at the points P, Q, and R. And the curve has this equation, and the line has this equation. We've been asked to find the area of a shaded region bounded by the curve and the line. So perhaps you want to try this question yourself. You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So the first thing we need to do is to identify which areas make up this shaded region. We'll find the area underneath the curve between this point to this point, And then we'll subtract from that the area under the line between the same two points. So we need to find each of these areas. To do this, we need to work out the x coordinate at point P. But we know the curve will be equal to the line at that point. So to find these limits, we'll set the curve equal to the line, and then we'll cancel out these sevens and move this x to the left hand side. And then we can factor out an x term. We know when x is zero, we get this point at seven. So we need to factorize this quadratic. So x will equal three and negative two. We can see the 3 will be at r, so the negative 2 will be at p. So now we can write each of these areas 
of the definite integral between the limits of negative 2 and 0. And again, because they've got the same limits, I can put these two integrals together. So we need a negative vx and negative the 7. And then we can tidy this up by cancelling these two out. And this will give us negative 6x. So now we just need to integrate each of these with respect to x. And when we substitute in the upper limit, we get 0. And then we'll substitute in the negative 2. So we'll get 16 divided by 4. Negative 8 divided by 3, but negative for negative 8 thirds. So positive 8 thirds. And then the 4 times the negative 3. So a negative 12. When we work this out, we get negative 16 over 3. And when you subtract the negative, we get a positive. So another blue area will be 16 thirds units squared. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson from my website, mrmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.